been home around this an hour. I mean, I don't know what time I came home. It might not be an hour. I think it was, it's coming up for an hour. Because when I got in, um, I noticed one of the people that affect me the most had gone out. So I took the opportunity to um, finish putting out the recycling in the recycling bin because I don't always get to do it because of how close they live to my house. If you know, you know. And um, I have to take every opportunity I can. So when I noticed they'd gone out, which I wouldn't have known if I hadn't been out when they'd gone out because obviously I saw the car was missing when I came home. But if I would have been home when they'd gone out, I probably wouldn't have known. So I put the rest of the recycling out and I put the bin out. And then, because I knew I had a lot of cardboard to sort out, I put the cardboard out because my dad used to do, basically, because he didn't do much in the house, he would do the rubbish because obviously I find it hard. Even though our bins are next to the front door, I'm too scared to even go to the front door if certain people are home or outside. And I have to wait until they're not around, but I never know when they're not around unless I see them leave the street, which I don't always do. So, the most they'll put out is the bin that I'm about to put a bin bag back in. If I've entered the bin and left the bin bag for him to do, or given it to him if he's in the room. He will put recycling out if it's on the side in here. But the cardboard stuff I've been had to start to do myself. Um, because a lot of the time it's upstairs because I take a lot of my stuff upstairs into that room that I call my office slash dumping ground and then the boxes stay up there and then when I'm sorting the boxes out they end up on the landing and that is typically where because I used to bring them downstairs and they'd be like at the bottom of the stairs on the big step where there's room to put them and then he'd normally sit and open them or cut them if they're like taped. And that's what he would do. And then one day I said, should I take them downstairs? He's like, no, I'll do them upstairs. So since then I've not really took them downstairs unless it was something I've opened downstairs and obviously the box has stayed downstairs. But I think he struggles to carry them down. I think if they were all downstairs, he would take them out. But because he wants them upstairs to pull them apart, so basically, he's not been doing it for the last month or so, so I've having, been having to put them out if they're upstairs. So basically, I went upstairs, got them up, oh, broke them down, put them out. And then I was like, oh, I might as well enter the kitchen bin because it's full. Then I forgot and I thought, oh, let's water the plants because I might not get an opportunity again today because I don't know when people are coming home, how long they're going to be out for, etc. And like I said, I don't even know they've gone out half the time. So what are the plants? Came in here, got a drink, which I've still not drank. I've not drank my water either. And um, what was I saying? When I was about to sit down, I suddenly remembered I've not entered the bin. I thought I better do it now because, like I said, I don't know when people are going to come home. So I'm glad that I did it then because about I don't know. I was on the phone and I noticed them walk past. Cause I was in here and I noticed them walk past so maybe 15, 10, 15 minutes later they came back so I'm glad that I got up straight away, well I didn't sit down and I'm glad that I did it then. So I've done that and I've sat down, I've probably had half a can of Diet Coke and I remembered that I've got, if you watch my food hauls, I got these mini Chicago town deep dish pizza vegan and I didn't even like the first one but I thought do you know what I'm gonna have the second one now I threw the box away so I can't remember how long you meant to cook it for and I know you can do it in the microwave but I don't like stuff in the microwave especially this because it will just go soggy and I don't like the sauce on it and it's meant to be barbecue but it's quite spicy but I don't want to waste it so I'm gonna put it in the oven <laughs> Maybe I could put some on it. What can I put on it? Well, actually, I need to put it in the oven. I'm just going to whack it in. Because I'm sure it's 25 minutes. And the whole oven's not up because I've just put it on two minutes ago. 
But when it's like five minutes away from being cooked, I think I'm going to shove on some ham that I've got. Because I'm not vegan. I probably... I used to eat more vegetarian and vegan stuff than I did meat. But because I never know what I want, recently I've just been eating a lot of chicken and then I've been getting ham and beef, mainly beef, for sandwiches. Well, bagels. But I'm not really a meat eater, but... I go to the shop and I never know what I want because I'm always stressed out all the time and then I always forget to think beforehand what can I get so then I'm just picking stuff up just so I can eat but I don't think I could put anything else on it that would make it taste better because the the barbecue sauce on it is just horrific like it's the worst barbecue sauce I've ever tried they do do another vegan pizza that I wanted to try um, it's a jackfruit one by the same brand but based on how bad that is I don't think I'm going to waste my money and get it because I don't think I'm going to like it so what's the point when it's like about 3 50 for this jackfruit pizza that I'm probably not going to like so this is probably going to be my lunch Anyway, I can leave that because it's going to be about 25 minutes. So, on the walk, do you know what? I totally forgot to film, but sometimes you're in the moment, aren't you? And you're just, like, getting on with the walk and you don't think, oh, let's film. And even though the phone's easy to get to because I've got pockets in my leggings, which I absolutely love these leggings, um, I just didn't think. And I did film two clips because someone got in the water in three or four different places because basically I mean I shouldn't always let the dog dictate when we're walking because we got to a point where you could go straight on which is the main path and like it wasn't off off road the typical off road where I go because you could tell by I don't know if you saw any of the pa paving that the pathways that I was walking on um, but I decided to let her take me to the right which is probably very uphill, extremely hilly. Like proper, proper uphill, continuously uphill. Um, some of it was open, like to the sun, some of it wasn't. And I'm there thinking, why did I have to do all of the day? Oh, do you know what? I'm gonna sit here a minute because it's cooler in this room. I thought of all the days, all the days that I've let this dog dictate, why did I let her dictate this one? Because it was extreme uphill, not just like a gradual uphill, it was very extreme. Um, I did stop when I got almost to the top, but she doesn't like to stop unless it's for her benefit. So I think I only stopped for 15 seconds, but then it did kind of go to more of a gradual uphill, like it was easier, then it started to go downhill. So I did catch my breath. And then I thought, if we don't get to a point where we're going to end up going either dramatically down, you know, like stop going further away, or where we go, where we can get to somewhere where we can go back towards the way we've come, obviously in a different, like not walk back the way we came. If we didn't get there in about five minutes, I was going to turn back and go the way we came because obviously I'd planned to be out for a certain time and go one direction for X amount of time and the other direction for an X amount of time because I planned a certain time in my head to be out for in total, even though, yeah, we were in the shade 85% of the time whilst we were there, I could have stayed out longer, but I'd, I'd, I had a, a time in my head. Now, if I hadn't had that time in my head and thought, oh, I've got leeway, I would have probably spent another half an hour out there because like I said, we were in the shade the majority of the time, so we were both okay. But sometimes when I make my mind up about, why is it much cooler in here? Um, a time, even though today I definitely had longer, I think the sun played in it a lot with me, because obviously I was very mindful for both myself and the dog, but with her getting in lots of water, she's absolutely fine. But anyway, I wanna sit in here, but it's hot. I need to go in there, so I'll sit on my stairs. Actually, I want to go up here anyway. I'll sit here, because it'll be warm in my room. You can see my banister robe. I need to go through that, because I think there's things that I don't need or want. 
anyway so we did eventually get to the top where you start to come down and it's very rocky and like loads of loose stones like big stones not little stones because they're not as slippery and I almost tripped a couple of times in a in some steep downhill bits because she's pull 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 constantly like if we're out anywhere and we're going downhill she seems to want to go down the hill a lot faster than me and I'm constantly pulling back on her and I'm constantly trying to get her to slow down because I don't want to basically run down a hill but when you're up in like somewhere like that and it's very rocky and there's big rocks and stones that you can slip on obviously you don't want to be pulled um, and at one point when I nearly slipped I was like if I fall you know it's not going to be good for either of us because obviously if I get seriously injured and break something or sprain something she won't be able to have my walks so then you get to a bit where you can either go right and carry on at the height you are and go a little bit higher or you can go left and go downhill but that downhill is quite difficult again loads of loose stones and like little rocks and like other things sticking out the ground but that's the way we went because obviously i needed to get down to eventually go back the direction we came so we did that and then of course we come to some water so i get down to the water because i'm able to get down to the water she's always in a hurry she's always down there and i'm trying to get down there and she's trying to like run into it as i'm trying to get down and not be dragged into it myself so she had some water and I'm stood there and I'm like, oh, should I film her? Trying to get my phone out. She leaps out quite high up. And I'm like, there's no way I can get out that high up. You're going to have to come back in. So she leaps back in and splashes me. And then we get out and then we start heading back in the direction that we came. And then I eventually got somewhere where I could have a drink myself because she'd obviously had a big drink and a big splash around. And then we're there and actually I'd actually sat down because normally when I have a drink, I don't sit down because I just would rather stay stood up because I know that a, she's not going to let me sit down for more than 10 seconds without starting to pull me. And B, what's the point in sitting down briefly when I'm just going to start walking again? So the majority of the time, I don't sit down even if I've got the opportunity to because purely because of her. But I did sit down to have a drink and of course she wanted to buddy carry on. And we were actually facing some water that was shallow. And as we sat there, I'd finished my drink. And a dog starts to come towards us with the owner. And by the way, it's a really wide path where we were, so we were nowhere near the dog. And I was like, oh God, she's going to try and pull me to the dog. She wants to play with the dog. And I'm like, don't do it. Don't you do it. You know, like when you're saying it, trying to be quiet because you don't want the owner to like hear you. And she's just looking at this dog who then proceeds to get in the water and walk very slowly. And I'm there thinking, she's watching that dog. She now realises that he's very shallow. She's going to want to go in. So they go past us very slowly because the dog's just living its life, just loving the water. And then I get up to walk to the water with her. Then another dog comes and gets in, but wasn't on the lead. The other dog was. And then walks past in the water. So when they go past, I walk to the water with her. And I'm like, go on, get in. And she's like, even though she'd just seen two dogs walking it, she seemed to think it was deeper than what it was. So she's like, no, I'm not going in there. And I'm like, it's it's okay. So I'm like walking like along the edge because I can't get in, obviously. And then she eventually gets in and I did film it like 10 seconds in, her living her best life in that water. <laughs> gets out we carry on walking and then again we come to this point where we can go three buddy ways and I'm trying to remember which way gets me back to the way I came in and I almost went the wrong way and I was like no 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 do you know when you like instantly realize when you're just about to do it I was like oh no no and I knew and um oh actually just before that we got to some water 
again and she just dived in and we were about two or three foot above this water she dived in the lead's six foot before i turn it into a handle on the end so it's under six foot so I'm on the edge and I'm trying to get my phone out. I actually had my phone out because I'd actually was sending someone the video of the previous water incident, water fun. And I'm trying to like get it back onto camera to film her. She then decides, in fact, I'll insert it here. So yeah, she did that and as you can hear at the end of the clip, I start laughing because she's an absolute div. And then she did try and have a mud bath, but I did get her away from the mud. Well, she did have a bit on her face, but she was about to eat some. Well, she puts it in her mouth and shakes it everywhere and I didn't want it all over me. And that's when we came to a point where we could go left, um, which there was two left. So there was one left that took you across something, across to something. And then there was like a, a, a walk to the left and a walk to the right. And I'm there thinking, do both of these come out of the same place? Because I couldn't remember. And I'm like, do they? And I'm like, I'm pretty sure the one that bends off to the right a little bit is the one I need to go on. And then I'm like, but is the left one? Is taking me that direction, but does it eventually bring me out? And it does. But I don't think it brings me out where I went in. So I went to the right and within five seconds I knew I'd done the right thing because literally to the right of me as I was five seconds in was the turn she took me up to begin with. So I was like, oh yeah, I've just chosen right here. I've got it right. So basically the moral of this is, I mean, it still took us 10 minutes to get back to the start. The moral of it is if you are out somewhere and you're going on a route that you've never been on before and you've basically said oh, i'm going to spend a maximum of 20 minutes going one way and then i need to go back the other way because then obviously i need to like because obviously i need to get back home you always just should and go back in the direction you came even if you're on a different path because people do get lost on walks and they get confused and end up buddy all over the place and go around in circles and start back where they started when they were trying to find the way back to where they were going and they've not got back to where they've started originally all you need to do is walk back in the direction you came and i know people have really bad senses of direction but see i don't so i always are able to find my way back even if like it takes me longer and even if i end up on a couple of routes that i think are uh, uh, that are going in that direction but aren't taking me back to the specific place I can always find my way back but some people somehow get confused like I said I went uphill then when I was going downhill I was going straight down but then it started to curve to the left which obviously is taking me direct in the direction that I came from but then I went severe left when I could have gone right and gone further up. Some people might got, have got confused at that point and instead of taking the left, which takes them in the sort of direction they came from, they might have gone right, which is taking you further away. And then when we got to the bottom, I knew I needed to go left, but I did briefly deviate to the right because I could see water. But you should always try and think to go back the way you came. So if you're going right up somewhere, obviously you need to then go left to get back. And if you keep going left, as long as you don't take any turns where you end up going back round on yourself, you should eventually get back to where you start. But some people have a tr trouble with that. Um, and there are some places where you will walk that you've never been before, like that path I've never been on where the dog took me. But I knew if I was going that way, I needed to come back that way, either on the same one or on a different path. So I knew I had to drop down lower to get down to some path. Whatever path that was, I needed to find my way back. But there will be places where you go where it's not as easy, where, you know, you might be on a field or somewhere like really open land. And that is harder because when there's nothing that you can see and it's just, land and land and land and land 
then it does get harder to turn around because how do you know you're walking in a straight line if there's no kind of things to look at? So I do get it in that respect. And if you are going on those kind of walks, definitely use a buddy compass and then work out, look at your compass when you're setting off on the walk. And then when you think, oh, I want to turn back, look at your compass and make sure you're going the opposite way to the way you come. So if you are going for walks like that, you definitely should have some kind of compass if you, you definitely are bad at directions. But on that note, I did find my way back and she, she had a whale at the time. When she gets out of that water, I stopped filming, but you should see how much energy she has and how she's bouncing around and how she's super happy and like leaping all over the bloody place. She loves water. Try and get her in the bath. Try and get her in a little dog pool outside. Do you know what? It would make my absolute life if she got in that dog pool. Like, I'm hoping in these hot days she's just going to dive in. I think once she realises that that's for her to get in, I think she'll be in it all the bloody time. And there's bits of leaves in it and stuff, so I'm hoping that's going to... She's going to be like, oh, there's dirty things in there. Oh, I'm going to get in there. I like dirty water. I mean, the water's clean, but anyway. So that's basically what I've done. I've come home. I've rushed around. And now I've just sat for 20 minutes talking when I've got loads of things to do. And I'm going to be taking her out again for 15, 20 minutes max. Um, and I've got some phone calls to make. And I am putting them off because there's phone calls I hate making. But there's one that I'm definitely going to make because there's something that I desperately need. So, and there's other ones I've got to make anyway. And I've been putting them off because I don't like making phone calls. And I don't, like, I'm not happy that I've got to make these phone calls anyway because of what I've got to talk about but they've got to be done so on that note I'm going to get on with the things I need to do and then I'm going to go and sort that pizza out which I'm not going to like but I obviously need to eat then I'm going to get out with the husky I might film a bit of the husky walk I don't know I think I've said more than enough this video is getting long but like I said people that are affecting me the most one of them's not here other ones are but one isn't and you know 